Sega. And there we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your captain, and uh, I'll be your captain Hillian tonight, along with. Here's a mighty lieutenant trick here at your service. And welcome back once again to Dawn of War to Retribution, where well, last time we finished with the Imperial Guards, who perhaps have the actual best characters uh, of the entire game, with well, Merrick and. Uh, the Lord General. <laughs> like the orcs are still funnier, and the the Blood Ravens also still have a good story. But I, I think on a character basis, though, the Imperial Guard might win it there. <laughs> yeah, dude, the orcs would definitely win out of laughs. I think I get. I still did not dislike the Tyranids. I was did they good with Tyranids with what they could do with them. Yeah. And yeah, we have now covered four of the factions, leaving only two left, the Eldar and the Chaos. And, well, let's go with the Eldar. Also, yeah, Drakir doesn't have a hat for this, but basically that's because none of them fit. Uh, and also, <sighs> let's be honest, people, that he Eldar helmet, it Actually, it would be like when you put a Greek helmet on it. It would take a lot of space. But with Elder Helmet? Yeah, the dead <laughs> uh, it's, it's like the Elder took notes from Warcraft's uh, shoulder guards. And they tend to be <laughs> way too big. Oh, I, <clears> I, think they, I think Warcraft took that from 40k and uh, fantasy. <laughs> Could be. I think... Put something away. I think... Uh, and then we brought it up a few times or so oh, yeah. that Warcraft was supposed to be a Dawn of War game at first. <laughs> Another oh, Dawn of War Warhammer. Yeah, I actually forgot to confirm. It was both Starcraft and Warcraft were both indeed supposed to be Warhammer games. <laughs> it, was, it, it didn't go through, so they, Blizzard had to improvise. And um, as such made yeah. one of the biggest uh, game franchise in the world. Well, until they... <laughs> until they actually finally managed to kill off World of Warcraft. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, uh, let's see. Elder are an ancient race of aliens whose soldiers spend lifetimes mastering their path in warfare. Many Elder possess strong psychic abilities, including the ability to see into the future. The Elder of Craft ruled Aliatik, uh, uh, Alitok, probably that way, uh, are led by Autark Kaleth. Uh, also, uh, yeah, the reason I, I, that wasn't an afternoon stream today is, well, <laughs> sleep schedule that needed fixing again. So basically, if I had done an afternoon stream, uh, it basically would have been... <laughs> would yeah, have been I, half asleep the entire time. I, I mean, to be honest, I could almost feel that from how you typed. So, yeah. Hopefully, finally, I'll be able to force my sleep schedule into a more reasonable pattern. But yeah, we'll uh, just have to see. Yeah. Also, we have done Clio earlier in the week, and we have skipped over Retribution a time or two, because I just couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't wake up enough for the afternoon stream. So now we do Retribution instead. Which is fair. Uh, let's see. 
there. Let's go with easy as usual. Ten years ago, oh. we blood ravens destroyed the demon Alcare, ending his schemes to rot subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Scepter, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, wracked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our Chapter Master and Chief Librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers. Brothers unaware of the Chapter Master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life, Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. This is why I have contacted an old ally within the Inquisition, Adrastia of the Witch Hunters. Mysterious are their ways, for they have said to have sought the aid of Xenos when fighting Chaos Legions. More surprising, however, was at this time, a small band of Xenos were instead seeking her. Okay, Hunter becoming the Hunted. Alright. <laughs> okay, we have talked about it a little bit before that Exterminator is not as frequently used as people often think, and well, it, it took 10 fucking years before the Imperium got fed up enough with this place to go, fuck it, nuke it all. Yeah, and it's supposed to be last resort, and you would always have investigation outward by another Inquisitor group, just to make sure you didn't go Inquisitor Cryptman upon the worlds. Yeah, then again, 10 years in this setting is like, what, a weekend? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Orc Freebooters. Disorganized patrols hastened rather than thorough. That would suggest at least 80 or 90. This human had best be worth all this. We've already lost our seers to these primitive brutes. The skeins of fate have spoken. The prophecy was clear. We must reach this scion of the Emperor before the orcs. Quickly now. We will follow Velderon's trail that we may recover his soul stone along the way. Okay, she looks very good in the old picture and the animation there, but... This way. Velderon's trail continues along this ridge. However, the model they used for her in the selection screen actually yeah. was a little bit badly painted, but it looked like she had a very long uh, shin. <laughs> But yeah, here's our first two characters, Kaleth and Rona, who attentive people might recognize from Dawn of War 2. Yeah, he was he was the one leading the attack on Angel Gates. Hey! 
Okay, Caleb comes with a jump that just knocks around. Uh, yeah, Rona uh, is a sniper. So we start with our stealth units for, uh, as our secondary here. And so he might be the third or fourth. He might be the best sniper in this game. Could be. Okay, he's a freaking Eldar. Look, Veldoran still lives, though he is wounded. Quickly, we must restore his strength. For war, as in all things, I... My thanks. I would turn to... Rise, Veldoran. Your skills are required further. Of course, Caleb. It was but a necessary feint. But where is Elenwe? There is no further blood. She must have escaped. Then we must not tarry. The orcs are sure to pass by here again. You may requisition field upgrades as needed. Do not waste this body. There we go. And yeah, our third one is a spellcaster. Alright. Yeah, if, if I recall correctly... Um, Elder are among the skilled, if not the skilled, the most skilled uh, in their fields uh, <clears throat> among in the entire galaxy. <laughs> and the problem can tend to be that well, they can be very over specialized and often very well over arrogant. Yeah, with the exception for the or some that are uh, specialized in all forms of combat. Terminate the Orcus race. We can set about extinguishing the stars. Perhaps you would rather observe this unwinnable battle from afar. Save your energy. We have not a second more to lose. Death now would be less than disgraceful. Make use of available cover. Hmm. Now, you see, the altar, which I actually saw a bit about. They are one of the few Eldar warriors that practice all form of Eldar combat. All of them. Yeah, because they need they need to be basically a master in nearly everything to be, to attain that rank. Yeah, for normally they are the other Eldars of militia. Like they will take one rule, once the third rule, the abandon armor weapon and do something else. That is not military or whatever they did before. That webway gate remains intact. Quickly, we should reactivate it to summon reinforcements. But yeah, the old talk, they are permanently military. Yeah. And um, honestly speaking, I think that these, these spots being filled with webway gates makes the most sense because, well, Tyranid nests, uh, <laughs> Imperial bunkers, those would have been destroyed the moment anyone would randomly run across them, but webway gates do tend to be hidden for really freaking long times. Yeah. Oh. Actually, a random fact is... Actually, not much about video about when 40k was called Trader on its yeah. first edition. The primary soldier of our war host is the Guardian. They are able to find support lack the means for close combat. On the field, they can be further equipped with battle equipment to enhance their versatility. Okay, they come standard with energy shield, plasma grenades, bleed of foot, and the ability to repair. Oh dear. <laughs> but, what this is, apparently, even in the first edition, there were yin seeds. So the specimen were not huge. However, Yin Seeds had another name. No. Do you want to guess what it was? A here will be this is something the stupid. The heavy the orcs have deployed. I am ready. It was called Yin Sperm. <laughs> of course. Uh. What did he say to the Yin Seed? The Before the seed was became a loo term by itself. <laughs> yeah. This must be the seed of this vessel. It is astonishing so much of it remains intact. What is astonishing is that such a thing could fly in the first instance. Quickly, neutralize all orcs and gather essential supplies only. We must maintain our maneuverability. 
Yeah, yeah, maneuverability you is... We stop your good if you touch them. These are the boss's breaks. Yeah, maneuverability... Uh, is one of the Elders a strong suit, that along with stealth. But their units, uh, they, they tend to be over-specialized. So, one type of unit is going to be strong against, well, their specific counters, but they can themselves can be re easily overwhelmed by other units that they are not strong against. Yeah. More reason why the Autog is specialized in all forms of variant of combat, or... Most of the knew how it said it works, but also how to organize the military themselves, for they know the pros and cons of each unit. So they know their own training how to use each unit. Yeah, and they can spend multiple centuries on every path, if not decades. Ooh, first a piece of armor. And yeah, just micromanaging is something that needs to be done with the Elder, both on the tabletop and in the game as w games as well. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I'd say I learned something else about the Eldar shuriken weapons. Yeah. I think the one the Guardians use. I learned something a bit terrifying. Hmm. Extra incoming. Like, I have told you before they shoot tiny shurikens, correct? Yeah, nanofilaments that basically go, between, go through the armor to basically slice them up a bit. Yeah, but there's something more that actually it makes it terrifying. Yeah. They fight 200 shurikens in one second. Yeah. I repeat, 200 shurikens in one bloody now second. Moving now. I am ready. Okay. Let's just throw a welcome over the wall. Or not oh, over the wall. Imagine Nimia seeing that. That is one way that you could describe the Eldar, Space Ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, since we're playing on easy, we won't be as hamstrung by needing to micromanage as much. But we'll still have to be careful, probably. Because, yeah, the, the Elder are powerful, but they are also frail, which is why they need their special... Uh, their specializations to be utilized correctly and their maneuverability and stealth as well. Let's gather all of these up. Okay, someone capture that. Oh gosh, I forgot her name. But there is one Elder Orthog. We stand upon newly gained ground. Inside there. Inside. A shuriken cannon team would be ideal here. The suppressing fire in its fly will slow and debilitate the enemy advance. We shall there. And now we finally get to use these things against our enemies instead of Boy, <laughs> getting stuck so against them. Sparkly over there. We have alerted the orcs to our position. Summon reinforcements quickly. Oh dear. I would if I heard We're already overpopulation. Wisdom. But, yeah. As ever, we serve the craft world. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I would call the Eldar my absolute favorite uh, faction, but they are, well, <laughs> among my top favorites with it. Yeah, you should they be able to do more novels, but they have sort of written themselves in a corner with they are neat, they are at people in decline. But it also means that you have a, yeah, the whole Crawford thing, like, I may bring the battle with me. if you were to write a book of them, the, the, someone destroying them to make it dramatic, that's a very big deal. Yeah, since, well, the whole Slanesh eating their souls, uh, if they if there's, they die and their soul stones aren't available or destroyed. So... Weapons and then they will have all the arrogance that people will try to write them, have them made a little bit so arrogant they actually become hard to read. Yeah, or stand. Like, 
I, I haven't had read many uh, Warcraft, uh, no, not Warcraft, Warhammer novels and such. But uh, yeah, even from basically what we've seen from the games themselves, we already know just how arrogant the average uh, Eldar character can tend to be. Yeah, and, and also. Oh. Okay, where did that explosion come from? Okay, everyone. Oh, the stays, and all the th 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 things also, unlike other factories, they can also just move away from danger with that crop well. Yeah. So. Well, typically. Yeah, you see the problem yourself. Either if it lose the crop well, it's a bit way too massive considering there are people in decline. But also at the same time, they can just move away. Okay, so... I'll, I'll probably have to move those grenades to someone else who is a lot more closer to the front line. Have you never fought orcs before? If we stay here longer, they will only grow in numbers. The way is open. Deal with these orcs first. Then we will continue. <laughs> what? The orcs are already all dead. Uh, I think they mean those. You okay, want? you give New Orcs a match. <laughs> okay, a tiny bit late on that, but still, it's the land. Okay, now let's see. If Rest of you, catch the hell up. So far, I like Caleb. Like, she doesn't seem to be arrogant. She's more like, very direct, like... Pragmatic? I mean, oh, what? Pragmatic? Yeah, I guess if you said that. For, but I don't to speak. She just tell them, focus. <laughs> like, she keeps your calm and all job that. Done. Hmm? Like, let you get your bloody her job done and help <laughs> Well, we know Ram is online now. Oh. Again, I I have I have that in the corner there to catch any rogue uh, Steam uh, achievement pop-ups for games and uh, such. But I don't think they have oh. popped up there in a bit. So I see them pop up there now and then. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I do believe I have played through the game with the Eldar before. Uh, I'm pretty sure I hadn't with. Uh, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I had with the Imperial Guards before, but I am just curious what uh, what we'll find with the Eldar. Though, well, we already know that some parts are likely going to be stupid, because we'll probably see Eldar on Eldar combat, which is about as stupid a thing as Eldar can do, unless they're Dark Eldar. <laughs> no, that's right, decent of you, Eldar. Delivering yourselves right to me, Grot Step. We should find what? another path. It is needless folly to face an orc this size. Flattery is it? Won't help you, none. It is but a small nuisance. Kill him, then we will find the human. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! An Eldar calls me small! That it hurt him and it weren't so funny! Before I slay you all, tell me, have you seen any humans since you invested this jungle? Why? There's something in me teeth. Good. Slay him. Blood flag. Okay. <laughs> okay. She, she does have some. She actually has charm. <laughs> Not entirely sure if it would be called humor, but. Definitely humor. Okay, let's bombard him with grenades. Okay, yeah, Eldar are really weak in melee most of the time. And that is typically where orcs are the strongest, so yeah. <laughs> that makes this a dangerous matchup. Oh, that's it! You've done it 
now, you push little runts! Have you found any evidence of this human? The human has been among us ever since we entered the clearing. Reveal yourself. Your attempts at hiding irritate my ears. I required that orc alive. Give me one reason why I should not slaughter every one of you Eldar witches. Because in your primitive hierarchy, Eldar witches are marginally more trustworthy than orcs. Ha. You evidently know very little about humans. <sighs> Reasoning with savages tires me. You came to bargain with the Orc. He is dead. Bargain with us instead. Hmm. This place will burn soon enough. I cannot see how it would matter if you know. Due to persistent chaos and Xenos activity, the Ordo Malleus has declared this sector lost and has ordered an exterminatus. In three weeks, our fleet will arrive and lay waste to every world within Subsector Aurelia. Vol aid us. And why should any of this concern you? I am familiar with your ways. The Exterminatus poses no threat to you. You flee to your webway the instant any threat draws near. You evidently know very little about the Eldar. What would prevent the Exterminatus from occurring? It has been suggested that the Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens, Azariah Kairos, is responsible for the incursions. I am most eager to have him... questioned. So, you wish him murdered? <laughs> Such is less illuminating and of less merit to the Most Holy Emperor. The ultimate outcomes, however, are often similar. In either case, such a turn of events would force me to halt the Exterminatus and reevaluate the state of the Sector. That's all we need from you. Ronon, Velderon, we go to find Elenwe. You give me leave? Stormtroopers, slay this alien filth! So eager to lose your only cat's paws, Inquisitor. What? You plan to... Huh. Lower your weapons. Let them go. <laughs> okay, the camera just yeeted itself across the landscape. <laughs> okay, there, there she is, did have the elder arrogance. Yeah. Do it could, it could be way worse. So yeah, because we, because we, because we killed Blood Flag, uh, Adrastia will have to do with us. <laughs> Oh dear, and oh, no, 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 sometimes our talk will leave the cross world to study other races, but there's one, I forgot her name, that is so well trained in her own piece, martial arts and combat form, and almost all other alien species can perform, so even space marines on occasion visit her for advice. <laughs> Okay, like, one thing you can trust about the Elder in general is that they will eventually backstab you, but only once, uh, yeah, the bigger threat has been dealt with. So at least you can rely on them to work <laughs> with you for a while before you have to deal with bigger threats. Not always. The awesome Elders are all very honorable and have shown very cooperativeness with the Empire. Okay. And if they, this one actually is so well, they actually have like two tokens that allow to show the Imperium for whenever they need aid. Like they have okay. like several of them and they use the three of them so far. So there are some Let's exceptions. See. Let's see. Armor of Himlok plus uh, movement speed, offering slightly better protection than the mesh uh, armor worn by the Guardians. This armor allows the wearer to retain speed and flexibility. And then Rune Armor, a wraithbone breastplate shaped into runic form, that runic forms that ward off enemy attacks. Nothing. <laughs> it's just a basic piece of armor. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Armor of Aliatok of Alia Aliatok. I'm going. I'm going to butcher these names wherever we run across them. Anyways, 
Let's see. A light but durable armor that provides considerable protection without impeding natural elder agility. 20% melee uh, damage resistance. Okay. And an upgrade for the elder, uh, for the guard squad, uh, guardian squad, the uh, guardian squads. What is with me messing up the words now so much? <laughs> mm. Uh, warlock, add a warlock to the squad, grants defensive bonuses and the embolden ability. Basically, their form of a sergeant. And warp spider. <laughs> Elite infantry equipped with teleporters, best used for ambushes and rapid redeployment. Yeah, so we, the, we've I seen plenty of these. The <laughs> yeah, we've seen <laughs> plenty of these across the last few games, with them just popping in out of nowhere to harass us. And, well, now we could go do the same to them. <clears throat> or the, uh, the, the same to everyone else. The... Also, Elenry has joined you for... Okay, so sh she joined us. All right. I thought it... Yeah, number I four, the as usual. I here was viewing us. Would it been interesting to have a Warp Spider Exarch as our fourth? Uh, since that would sort of fit the typical f that we've seen so far with, like... Uh, a me mostly me melee focused <clears throat> main character, then uh, a caster, uh, heavy weapons, or a, a stealth character, and then on fourth, most of the time, like a jump character, but we can probably, well, the forest here already has that jump ability, so not the forest here, the, the autark already has that jump ability, so she probably fills that spot herself already. Uh, upgrades or more units? Oh, that's a good question. They... Have you used ambushes really that much? Mm, no, not really. And this is... Ambushes are likely a good way to play this game. We have been mostly on the offensive so far, but I do believe... The... Yeah. I do believe in some of the guys that I've read, it is advised to try and lure in a, to lure enemies into ambushes or, well, killing fields with heavy gunfire, uh, overlapping uh, well, overlapping lines of fire and such. But it, it, let's go with upgrading just our basic unit at the moment. Yeah. Farseer Elenway has made her way back to us. She is weakened and winded, but understands our mission. So, we are to be assassins in the service of primates. We have no choice. Alenwe confirms that it is as the prophecy says. The dead will bear death. The damned shall be damned. Every soul of a craft world lost, slain without a word. An exterminatus will surely destroy the craft world buried here on Typhon and every soul stone within. We Eldar do not enjoy a comfortable ignorance of our fate after death as humans do. There were thousands on that craft world. If their soul stones shatter, every soul will. The great enemy will. The prophecy said this could be averted by aiding the human. We must find this, Kyrus. Ronon, show us the nearest webway port. We must search every nearby planet immediately. And yeah, on the Eldar campaign, it gets revealed right off the bat there is a craft world here, and that is why the Eldar are, well, bothering with all of this, because, yeah, like we've said, otherwise they could just fuck off. Yeah, if it's, if it's buried and not in full capacity, yeah, it's a bit hard to do. Let's see. Holy. Let's just equip the. Uh, let's just equip the uh, purple stuff that we count with uh, that we keep getting every time. Okay, and as usual, let's take a look at all of the skills. We oh, have no, no, force I have fields. That song in my head. <laughs> Bring to swords. Activate a force field that absorbs damage by draining energy. Increase health and regen. Activating force shield disperses a charge that knocks back and stuns infantry and vehicles. Additionally, Kaleth regenerates health while the shield is active. Okay. Uh, that'll be good since, well, the shield <laughs> uses up energy to negate, en uh, to ne negate damage. Ferocity regains health with every attack and for every enemy she kills. 
And then Illusion. Create an Illusion of Kayla that deals less damage but draws the fire over her attackers. Okay. Then we have Weapon Prowess. When equipping swords, gain bonuses uh, to in-combat charge and increase damage to heavy infantry. You can from Shuriken catapults uh, gain increased damage versus infantry and cover. And equipping fusion guns gain knockback immunity and increased damage to vehicles. Okay. So we, <laughs> yeah, we have ourselves a potentially very versatile uh, <laughs> Autark. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, critical strike, gain a chance to deal bonus damage with her attacks. When equipped with plasma grenades, Kayla throws a volley of three instead of a single grenade. Okay, I guess we know who gets the grenades then. Yeah, what the heck is going outside? Hmm? Uh, let's see, rapid assault, increase fire rate with ranged weapons. Combat Master. Vastly increase Kayla's damage and adds a high chance for attacks to stun infantry. Okay. okay. I think it was a, it's one of those trucks moving snow. Okay, a snowplow? Yeah. Uh, the, what I was saying was probably, well, the scraping against the asphalt. That's okay. Let's see. Fleet of foot, increase speed, allowing her to leap over terrain and knock back enemy units while moving. Uh, increase Kayla's energy. Additionally, she ga regains energy for every enemy she kills. Strike from the skies. When jumping into combat, Kayla boosts the combat effectiveness of nearby allied units in addition to healing them. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah, having a healing effect is a first. And then focus, uh, recharge significantly faster. Sky leap. Soar high above the battlefield to a target location, dropping plasma grenades beneath you. Additionally, unlocking the volley trade drops additional grenades. Okay, I'm now highly tempted to go down this lane and this one. Or at least partially this one. Now, I'm, I'm thinking three here, five here, and then we have these two here. Hmm. Yeah, I can agree with you for... I I'm sure we would use illusions too much. Yeah, these two are a little bit weaker compared to some of the other ultimate abilities that we've seen. But in in turn of that, a lot of these are very powerful themselves. Yeah, and the wool then sky jump is an easy yes. For, for now, let's give her that shield. And that as well. And that's probably about as far as we go in that lane. Okay. <clears throat> now then, Rona. Uh, Ro Ro yep. Rona. Yep. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was saying it wrong. You have recovery. Activating infiltrate instantly restores some of Ronan's health. Vitality. Increase health. If he's not deployed, Wraith Lords gain the ability to infiltrate for a limited duration. Okay. <laughs> Repair. Uh, wait, didn't. Uh, the basic units already have that, so that's a bit of a waste. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Units being repaired fire more rapidly. Rona once took the path of the Bone Singer. Okay, and Bone Singers are basically their, well, builders slash mechanics, I believe. And we have Master of Stealth. While Infiltrate is active, Rona takes significantly less range damage. If he is not deployed, Fire Prisms gain, uh, gain the energy field ability. And sabotage. Repair can now be used to damage and disable enemy vehicles, but it will cost an engine to do so. You know, typically, infiltrate stuff is more in the energy uh, path. But yeah. with him, it's at the top. Hmm. Also, boosting is more like, like they, they be cross machines, but also weapons, armor, furniture. You could basically yeah. say they were singing craft folk. Yeah, since they, you know, they form. Rather, they shape the wraith bone that most Eldar stuff is made out of. Yep. Let's see. Kinetic Pulse fires a high-impact, low-damage blast of kinetic energy capable of knocking back and suppressing units around the target. Okay. Deadly Aim. Increased damage. If he is not deployed, graph platforms gain his bonus. Okay, that... <laughs> that's also... Uh, the unexpected, since that's typically more on our heavy weapons character. And again, I'm pretty sure each of these has probably walked a few of the warrior's paths already. 
force of impact, lowers the energy cost and increases the uh, damage of the kinetic pulse, allowing it to <laughs> almost uh, to instantly kill most infantry. Rapid reload, re increase fire rates. If he has not deployed graph platforms, gain this bonus. Okay. So I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing he's doubling as both our sniper and our heavy weapons character. Yeah, uh, I just remember hmm. something. Hmm? Eldros have something called a war mask. This is a not physical thing, but a bit of a mental thing. Because they kind of need for baby to mentally handle what they at times have to do in war. Yeah. Or so they, or... they do live for the millennia and such. So they see yeah, a lot. Yeah, or... uh, What? Yep. <laughs> they, if I'm correct, they do live for millennia and such, so they do see a lot. Yeah, so they kind of need it for it, or very emotional, so it, yeah, it will do them a lot of mental damage. So yeah. a lot of atrocities they may have done is because they have that mask on, for otherwise they would not be able to do it even. Now it made me think on uh, something a bit. Ba basically, you could describe Elder rather crudely as well your general space elf mixed in with vulcans who well technically are a kind of space elf as well yeah mm. i guess you could i wouldn't be surprised if the mosque is probably also part of the arrogance could be let's see assassin kinetic pulse no longer requires time to recharge and fleet of foot moves significantly faster while infiltrated and in no, is no longer revealed when using abilities. That's, that, that is very early on in this line. Extra equipment, additional accessory, if not deployed, increase the increase everything about the honor guard. Hidden, infiltrate no longer drains energy unless Rona is attacking or taking damage. Ambush. Uh, his attacks have a chance to stun enemy infantry if he's not deployed rangers and warp spiders gain this bonus that would be really useful on warp spiders to just stun enemies and yeah. holo fields infiltrating projects a holo field around rona camouflaging nearby allied infantry okay hmm oh how over to speak this guy i'm thinking we go down the offense path at the least for now and we'll have to figure things out as we go like i'm thinking up to here with this and we'll see how much further we go with this um let's see level two required level three uh, no that <clears throat> no <clears throat> level one fusion gun wait 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 let's take a look at the armor again it's yeah Oh, it's a rude, I thought it's a rare. I thought, <laughs> wait, it's rare armor with armor rating free. Yeah, it must be so rare that it, it's rare to find something so bad. Okay, then we have Velderon. You have Conceal. Reduce the damage Velderon takes from ranged attacks. Vitality, increase health, otherwise Wraith Guards gain it. Siphon, after using a psychic power, Veldoran steals health from nearby enemies. Embolden, immune to suppression if he is not deployed. Squads led by warlocks gain this bonus. That would be really useful for melee units and such, or just in general. <clears throat> Meditation, heal rapidly but cannot attack, move, or cast abilities while doing so. Then we have Consumed by Flames. Immolate deals additional burning damage over time. The damage continues to stack if units do not move. Torrent of Energy adds knockback and increase the rate of fire of Veldoran's range attacks. If he is not deployed, uh, Warlocks uh, gain this benefit and increase their squad's rate of fire. Ethereal Slash. Slash nearby enemies, knocking back and damaging them. Increase Veldoran's damage if he is not deployed. Guardians gain this bonus. And Master of the Witch Path. Improves the destructive capabilities of, Im of Emulate, Destructor, and Ethereal Slash. Okay, so that is just heavily on <laughs> the offense path, but mostly melee. Then we have Psychic Fury. After using a Psychic Power, Veldoran temporarily increases his damage. Incre leadership increases energy. 
Warlock leaders increase the speed of any squad they are attached to, whether he's deployed or not. Heart of Darkness, recharge energy at the cost of health. Vigor, can equip an additional accessory if not deployed, just honor guard boast. And Providence, become temporarily invincible and reduce cooldown timers on other abilities. Ability charged by taking damage. Okay, hmm. I'm thinking we go mostly down the offense path with him as well. And a little bit of the other ones, though not too much, I think. Also, yeah, you can use these runes. Destructor and channeling runes. Let's see. You restore another unit's health and energy over time. Okay, so not an instant heal like with the other factions. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look over the <clears throat> equipment in a bit. Last, we have Elenway. Warseers would typically be the leaders of uh, war parties like this. But... Uh, not if there's an <laughs> talk. Yeah. But <laughs> I believe think. up until now, in in the previous games, it was mostly uh, Forestiers who lead the, uh, who led the parties. But yeah, Autarchs outrank them. What if it's weird? We have heard her talk in other missions before. Hmm. Wait, in the... Oh, wait. We had her talk in the vanilla uh, of Dawn of War 2. Uh, yeah, we faced a forest here there. I, wait, it was her. We killed. We killed a well, quote oh, unquote yeah. killed one. So I, I guess she managed to sneak away after all, huh? Yeah, yes, she did. I, I guess they were only able to hire her, the voice actress, again. Maybe. But yeah, that just goes to show that even when you've quote unquote killed an Eldar, they still might have snuck their way out somehow. Uh, because they're sneaky bastards. Yeah, anyway. it could also be wrong. Could it be uh, someone else? Let's see. Oh, oh, you you come with the uh, heal just in a <laughs> at standard, okay? In an AOE as well. Ooh. Uh, then again, they've they've always been AOEs so far. It's just that most of the time our units are close enough to always get caught in the blast, anyways. Let's see. Wards grants a targeted uh, ally temporary invulnerability. Vitality, the typical stuff, uh, if not deployed. <clears throat> Banshees gain it. Feedback, enemies attacking warded units take damage and are knocked back. Fortune, Eldar no longer take damage when retreating. I wonder if that... Uh, something I I think I've mentioned this before, but... <clears throat> it would be really nice to know if this is just a global ability or just in an AoE around her. So, more context would have been nice on that. Spiritual Restoration. Allies near Lenway slowly regain health. Additionally, increases the duration of ward and the potency of spiritual rights. Oh, okay. th this line sounds dead good. Yeah, very, very support protective and such. And then we have an offense doom. Lenway's attacks lower enemy defenses, increasing the damage they take. Can be stacked multiple times. That might be really good with some of the bosses. Then we have combat prowess, increased damage. If not deployed, warp spiders gain. Levitation field, using psychic powers, destabilizes uh, gravity around Elenway, lifting up enemies and damaging them. Second strike, Elenway's close combat attacks deliver a second delayed blow of psychic damage. If he is not deployed, Banshees gain this bonus. Mind War, engages in a duel of minds, causes damage to the target enemy and suppresses them. Enemies killed in this way increase maximum energy. And Psychic Resolve, increase energy to the... Oh, casting spells restores energy to nearby allies. Play the foot, so all, all of them have this. Uh, to the, to, if not deployed, Banshees and Warp Spiders move faster and can leap teleport over terrain. Guide, reduce recharge time of herself and nearby allies. Preparedness, Lenway can equip an additional accessory, otherwise on the guard boost. And time field, slows down time in an area. All units within time field move slower and are un unable to attack. Initially, when reaching, uh, reaching critical health, she automatically triggers a time field. 
That is very powerful because these sound a bit weak compared to the some of what the others have, but this one sounds really powerful. Yeah. Through the other ones we have the, 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 the one with the, all the healing, the green line, the, that one feels way too good to ignore. Yeah, so let's start on that. Okay, now let's take a look at our loot. Fusion gun. The proximity increases damage. Fusion guns are heat-based weapons used by the Elder, and enough the analogous to the Imperium's Melta weapons, effective against all targets. Okay, so basically they're a plasma flamethrower of sorts. And spear of Yenades. Uh, on hit, target becomes confused. Numerous spirit stones are set into this glaive, all having belonged to fallen Howland Banshee warriors who had expressed their faith in the prophecy that with each elder death you need, the god of the dead grows more powerful and shall one day defeat Slanesh. All right. A story they actually started a while back, but it has been almost on hold. <clears throat> but also kind of how Gilman got revived. Uh, we've read those two before. Guile of Serake, uh, Segora. Uh, allied deaths can trigger an enraged state that increases speed, damage, and lowers ability recharge times drastically. Did Cain's strength save him from the great enemy? Did Vol's skill save him from Cain? Each of our gods are butchered and broken, save one, and he is laughing. Gaul saved him. Gaul may save us all. Gaul may save you. Harlequin Riddle. Okay. Oh, the Harlequin is so bloody heck. I've been trying to learn an Elder Lord. It... There are a few, but not, not, not many that I feel like I've been catching my eye. It, it, then again, it might be due to Game Workshop have rather been stale. On Eldar law making? Yeah, since, well, they did kill off practically their entire pantheon. <laughs> yeah. I, mm. I need to look up about the Holy Queens, but they seem to be rather. Um, Chaotic. Yeah, they're not chaos worshippers, but. They they're are unpredictable. Something. <laughs> Let's see. Re significantly reduce the energy cost of abilities. Uh, runes of Wisdom offer protection against the harsh negative energy of the warp, placing their bearer in a medita meditative st uh, strands-like state. This allows them to get more mileage out of their abilities in the form of lowered energy costs. Uh, plasma Grenade. Helm of the War Host cannot be knocked back and 100% suppression resistance. An ornate helm worn by Antarks who place themselves in the center of the most heated battles. It offers protection in the form of increased armor, suppression immunity, and resistance to most knockback. Let's see, the other commander item we have is Aspect Stone of the Howling Banshee Shrine. Grants the War Shout ability. Challenge the vengeful skills of the Howling Banshees. Okay. And yeah, anti-grav grenades. Uh, da, 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 destructor, fire a rolling blast of psychic energy and channeling, increase the health and energy regeneration of target uh, units. Caster must remain stationary. Uh, you're going to go into melee, so let's give you at least a little bit of defense. You are likely to head into melee as well. We'll have to see... Well, Belderon is likely to go into melee no matter what. We'll have to see if we can turn you into a more of a ranged support unit. Well, we are going with support on your skills. That's for almost freaking sure. Okay, now let's get finally started on this. A webway entrance lies near to the warhost, but hostile forces must be crossed to reach it. To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promise something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. And well, we know how this is going to go. Oh dear. 
So let's see how uh, you say oh shit run in Eldar. Where are those actually supposed to be heading? That's a dead end anyways. Or are they just out on that patrol? Okay. Elenway. Hmm. It's going, this is going to be a little bit awkward with the numbering since our sniper has typically been the last character, but now he's our second. <laughs> Why can't you jump here? Okay. Okay, this this area in general is just a no jumping zone. Intruders! Oh hell, we've been found! All right, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the bean blade! Holland! 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 Can you see that right? We lack the weaponry to deal with such a machine. We must fall back or risk destruction. I'm guessing you were trying to say run in Dutch. Yep. <laughs> I hold a little tiny Dutch book here. Yes, it's a tiny booklet. <laughs> Damnation! We can't get through here. Find another path! Hey, it gives me free alternative. Holland, Zenon, Hodlopen? Protect those targeting cogitators. The turrets could go haywire if a cogitator is destroyed. Now, uh, Holland would be considered much more of a uh, crude way of saying it, but Renan is the typical, uh, or the one that's typically considered the basis for the basic the most neutral version all right well they give me the uh, holland first <laughs> and Renan second and hard lopen as a third yeah hard lopen would be more like a uh, marathon kind of sorts oh Something I will never do. <laughs> okay. Now, let's drop the hammer in the form of an attack with a big ass stick. Get that shield up. Big blade. Okay, disrupt them, please. Okay, that was a bigger effect area than I expected. Let's see, can I set off those? No, I cannot set them off like that. <laughs> and there they go, hovering in the air, making for easy targets. Okay, just finish them off. Stormtroopers trying to sneak up. Bye bye. <laughs> Too fast for them. Okay. Just jump on in. And yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Elder is at base already the fastest units in the game. Oh dear. Okay, so yeah, we'll have no issue keeping away from the Bane Blades. Let's see. I think I'll save on bringing in units since we're still getting chased. And we can call in some extra help over here. As well, the fight for the end of this is going to be over there. Yep, I just realized we already are soon one hour in. <laughs> I 
maybe most of us it's spent, but spent us talking in the, the <laughs> gear menu. Yeah, but that has been the case with most, I believe, yeah, most first streams uh, of each faction, I believe. Yeah, it is on the first uh, stream. I mean, uh, read out what the, the skills do and all. Then the other thing goes uh, rather fast. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some resources. Mm. And yeah, they they are visibly moving faster than any others before, I believe. Wait. Okay. Did anyone even get knocked out? Nope. Nope. There was the first bit, but not beyond that. All right. Okay. So I always be someone that gets knocked out, so you get a tutorial on how to revive them. Yep. For a moment, I actually thought we had the first mission with our first uh, faction to not get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to happen, eh? no matter what. Hmm. Oh dear. I have unburdened us of their infantry. Okay. Moving on. You jump in there and just smash that. So that will only activate those up there. Oh well. For these we have something called plasma grenades. <laughs> okay, I just turn them into a red mist. <laughs> the only thing that survived was his gun. Yep. Can I keep it? No. One of our structures is under attack. Okay. Lost the support platform to the enemy. Get her into melee there. Okay. Okay, let's can jump over once she's done over there. Oh, it's recharging. There. <laughs> okay. Rona, just keep... You might want to keep running and that's stuck in the front of that thing. <laughs> okay. Now, burn out these. And yeah. We can move on to the last stretch. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I, I thought it would actually kill most of them in one blow, but no. Let's see. Both are on cooldown. Okay. Uh, no. You keep firing there because you deal direct damage to them. Okay. No. Let's just grab the resources. Grab the points. Not that we really need it that much. And move on. Yeah, I wouldn't call it our structures, but oh well. Yep, let's not forget to go over here and grab those points as well. Level up. Yep. Okay, I was half expecting her to jump from here to there, but nope. Okay, burn that out, thank you. Okay. Okay, that must have been an explosive I didn't see. <laughs> I thought for a moment that the Bane Blade was showing up early there. Yeah, wait, what are... This is it again? One of our platforms was under attack? One of our weapon platforms. The turrets over here. Ah... Uh. Okay. Got some extra here. And then run across. Hmm. Actually... No, we can't just jump up there. 
Okay, they, they, they probably have an invisible wall blocking that here, so you don't, so you can't skip ahead. Because, well, the Bane Blade wouldn't be up there yet, only after this bit here. Son of the Dark Reaper Shrine, okay. Dark Reapers are the anti vehicle units, I believe, for the anti vehicle more infantry. Of the, more of was the ones with very big uh, version of the old uh, heavy boxers. Okay. Get them off, Rona. Go in there, you. I think Dark Reapers are more anti-infantry. Okay, we'll have to double check. Yeah, we we'll need to double check that. Let's see. We can guess probably from the ability that it will, that it will grant. For now, we just keep pushing forwards. You're missing a box. <laughs> you missed a few boxes. Fair. To a One more box. This is a hostile area. I shall make it no, I'm really? Sure, I'm pretty sure the entire universe here is a hostile area, <laughs> Caleb. You leave still a box behind, by the way. Oh well. Down. South. Just make a few of these. Let's see, burn them out. Okay. Yeah, embolden, have guardians steal themselves, resisting suppression and dealing more damage. Okay. And of all factions, it makes the most sense that the Eldar can just call in uh, units wherever they please for the webway. Yep, and you still left the box behind. <laughs> By the stairs. Yeah, oh, well. By the stair tower. Next to the tower, about. Play Marines already, huh? Okay, all of you get up there. There they are! This is it, you maggots! We'll bury you here! Oh, they have a cave tunnel for all that! Yep. <laughs> did, you, did you think it was driving through, straight through the mountainside each and every time before? No, what if you just drew through a jungle? I just don't realize, oh, there's like a cave there. Caleb <laughs> okay, is taking that way, whilst the guardians are going to draw fire. And okay, that's uh, putting it. That's putting it uh, kindly. <laughs> it's running through a killing field instead. Okay, all we need to do is just beat down this box. Hm. I guess that's how uh, an elder beatboxes. Anyway, that's yet another Bane Blade gone. And yeah. this is the webway port. I will enter and scout its egresses. Wait here until I return. <laughs> they are pinning us down. Triumph is ours. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that's the first mission done again. Uh, haywire grenades, throws a grenade that damages and disables the target vehicle. Okay. Is, that's a bit early, I think. Let's see. Aspect stone, 20 range damage. Channels the crack shot position of the Dark Reapers. And okay, scroll of the Black Library, donate to gain experience. <clears throat> I might give that to Elanwe just to have her catch up on experience. Probably a good idea. Now, let's have ourselves a look. A mirror sword. 
Howling Banshees or Warp Spiders? Let's see. 25 melee skill. Wielded in pairs by Howling Banshee Exarchs, the, the monomonocular edge of a mirror sword can slice through armor like paper. Though Kaleth did not receive the necessary training to ambidextrously wield two of these swords, simultaneously she is sufficiently lethal with just one equipped. <laughs> okay. All right. And I'm tempted for us to pick the Howling Banshees. Yeah, we'll need some. Uh, we'll need some units for melee, uh, other than our well heroes at the moment. They can definitely use a bit of assistance with that. Let's see. Highly agile melee infantry upgrades grant additional speed, the war shot ability, and other enhancements. Ronan, what have you learned of the Webware port? As hoped, it would enable us to leave Typhon. We now have a choice of worlds where we may die in the service of prophecy. Your venom for our methods is surprising, Ronan. Were you not originally of Craftworld Ulfway? Craftworld of Seers? I am a wanderer now. I belong to no craft world. Then you know that it is through Seer's prophecies that the Eldar yet survive. Remember that we have successfully recovered the souls of craft world Kultse. The same soul stones used to guide the Wraith Lords, which stopped the Necron advance onto Canus. Refugees of Ulthwe herself were rescued from the glaciers of Cronus. Without the visions of our seers, they might never have been found. Oh? I had not heard of this endeavor. It was a mission undertaken in secret. The Blood Ravens who overran Cronus retained a foothold there, and we could not risk drawing their attention. Yet the recovery was a resounding success. Even the Soul Stones of the Fallen were recovered from beneath years of snowfall. All but one. What? You knew of this? Taldir, am I correct? The Farseer who led the original expedition to Cronus. Her soul stone was never found. Yes, our prophecies serve us marvelously in the recovery of our dead. Would that they served us better in preventing that need to begin with. <laughs> okay. Callbacks to winter assault and such, again. <laughs> Right. Let's see. You are at the border of level three, and you're not actually that far behind, really. Uh, but let's still give you this. It'll probably push you ahead of the rest. Actually, no. A, a little bit, but you're now in second place with experience. Now, let's have ourselves a look. Uh, yeah, we were going down this one mostly with you. Uh, you have extra damage, always nice. Valderan. Um, mm -hmm. Knockback and increase the rate of uh, ranged attacks if he is not deployed. Hmm. A bit on. Let's see. Really, what were we think? Hmm. It we is can't give him a ranged over. weapon yet. Uh, let, let's keep him going down the melee range, because this one is here. We'll see how we do the rest. You just keep going the healer path. Uh, should we give her some armor? For we have a, available armor. True. Uh, let's actually give that to you, and this one to you. It is only three armor, but yeah, she is more supposed to be at the back line. Maybe I can pair her up with Ronan. Um, it, it, let's see. So far, I can say is all these heroes will be heavily useful. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Enough of that. Let's go to Kaldaris. Attention! All Blood Ravens of Strike Force Omega in the Argus District. The Ascendant fears investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus settlement is to be razed to the ground. 
Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. The webway port lies hidden near to this settlement. The purgation these savages spread has put it at risk. We must contain these fools and their purge, lest they endanger our war host's withdrawal. Okay, that, that's actually a good reason to interfere, because most of the other times, they've just, well, except for the Blood Ravens and the Imperial Guard, they've mostly just gone in there to just screw around with the attacking forces. Yeah, and we already get an upgrade option for the Banshees. The yep. And let's actually switch this out, because, well, we don't have much anti-vehicle at the moment. So we'll have to go with Kaleth using it. Yeah. Uh, since she's the only one who can use it. I feel like we're going to end up taking that Banshee upgrade right away since we already offered it. Yep. We should capture this webway assembly and use it to call in our heavier war machines. Yeah, stuck sneeze. Hmm. Yeah, they're annoying, aren't they? Very. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, and we get a falcon. Wait, wait. Find the appointed place. I see a typo. What? Oh, oh wait. To, to, from my end, it looks like this root falcon without an L uh, just root, uh, put on a K. Enemy forces have been detected inside the settlement. Do not deviate from your mission. Our priority is to demolish every last structure in this miserable village. Space fleets, as predicted. Put them down like dogs! Also, is it just me, or during the briefing, does that space marine sound like he's talking, basically talking like a TV uh, preacher? Or he televangelist? This is odd, for he's not a chaplain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, grab that. And yeah. Same as before, we just go through and kill everything. Though we don't have. <clears throat> we're not constrained by a time limit. Yeah, does it say Falcon or Falcon? Falcon. Alright, yeah, that needs for my end. Yeah. On my end, since I have my screen, it's a little bit smaller. Somehow the L and C have merged almost. <laughs> okay. The hands won't ask you for. Yeah. I, uh, and yes, people, I did realize how that sound I actually read it out by the fort it said at first. The enemy has destroyed an ally structure. Uh, oh, God. Okay, chase after that thing. We'll get our anti-vehicle here. To counter their armor, we should upgrade our shuriken platforms with bright lances. Haywire grenades are also possible. Let's see, let's grab... Need more power. The Ellen Way, break that, if you will. Okay. Power! There, there, and there. Okay. Actually, I probably should do that now for once. Because <laughs> so far we've always just gone down the, <laughs> the the way, the the unobstructed way. Yes, yes, we know there are threats, but Ronan can probably just snipe them near instantly. Oh, you have... Okay, you can get a shield. Also, throw some grenades in there, please. Oh. Okay. Holy! Um... What? You spread a space marine into mist, except his armor. <laughs> okay, so we made him join the, uh... Uh, what were they called again? <laughs> you, you, you can see the old... No, they just bombed. 
I, I saw the old piece just fall down and clanging about on the ground by the platform thingy. Uh, let's but see. Already spawned. Oh God! I, I, was, wasn't the Thousand Sons who are Magnus's chapter, or were Magnus's yeah. chapter? Thousand yeah. Sons is the one that turned into dust. Yeah, so we basically made an extra one. We made it the Thousand and One Sons. Oh God! And okay, we'll have to clear them off that building as well. Okay. You light them up. They're actually dumb enough to stay in there. They're okay. Yep. And we've got our first downs. Okay. If, what are you doing all the way over there? Get back here. And they lived up. Okay. I guess they just didn't catch sight of the uh, ones over here. Why are you... I know you're arrogant, <laughs> the pilot's probably arrogant, but there's no reason to show your ass to them. Okay. Sergeant Lysandros come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Also, that, that is a big fucking arc. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Okay, someone grab that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Still just only interested in destroying the buildings. Okay, get behind it. Okay. Now once I've grabbed this, I'll bring in some more infantry. I wouldn't call two transports metal. Well, they are made out of metal, but it, they aren't really two combats uh, effective. Mm. Singing spear. Mm. Those are some good weapons, if I remember right. No, not the that you. Okay, do we have enough for Yes? Okay. Okay, we've got a decently varied group now. We should be able to push through. Okay. Okay, let's jump over here for a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, so much for the Banshees. Okay. Oh dear. Nope. There, knock them back. Can you? Yes, you can shield yourself, but you can't stop yourself from being suppressed. <laughs> okay. Sets you to refill. Yep, and there goes Elenwe. <laughs> yes, she is getting a bit uh, demoted during all of this, huh? Oh, poor thing. Okay. Jump away for a sec. 
Yeah, you, can, you need to get her some other weapon that can keep her in the back. Yeah. Like, she has a pistol, sure, but she still has a sword. And she still wanna swing it. It's, I, I do understand. <laughs> I should probably set her a uh, Almost. <laughs> I almost got squashed there. Yeah, let's set you to rain stance. Yep. Then still, still she runs up to go smack. <laughs> almost. Well, she is just holding a pistol. True. Okay. That's the Terminator's dealt with. Ledway yep. <laughs> is just getting her ass kicked today. Okay. Do not care, you were just in the way. We have prevailed. Let's see. Um, graph platform. So stationary. Oh, okay, their their version of the turrets. Okay, let's see. Singing spear. Uh, the singing spear is a heavily physically, uh, psychically impregnated weapon used by elder farseers and warlocks. It takes the form of a silver spear, chased with mysterious, me uh, chased with okay, uh, with mysterious metals and covered with sparkling gems. Its name is derived from the constant droning the weapon emits when held by a psyker. Okay. What? Well, I guess we just found a weapon for a certain someone. I think it's still a melee weapon. True. Let's see. Exodite's Shuriken Catapults. Plus 22% accuracy, plus 50 energy to all nearby allies and no level requirement. Shuriken Exod weapons... Hmm? Uh, go on. Go on. <laughs> uh, shuriken weapons fire a flesh-tearing hail of razor-sharp discs by means of a series of high-energy impulses. This creates a... The peristaltic shift from the front to the rear of the firing ch uh, chamber, hurling the, uh, sh the hurling the shuriken missiles towards a tr uh, tr uh, forward at a tremendous velocity. A burst of several shuriken can be fired in a fraction of a second in this way. Okay, and what is an exodite then? The other ones that don't have an official faction yet, they are usually kit patched. There are the Eldos that live on planets with what they call dragons, but most of us would call them dinosaurs. <laughs> okay. And they ride them. Let's see. Upgrade for the Banshee, War Shout ability, and gives the Exarch an Executioner weapon, which is effective against vehicles. Okay, and yeah, still the War Shout. Let's, let's keep <laughs> working on upgrading squads that we already have. And options available to us have increased recently. For certain missions, you might consider deploying without Ronan or myself in order to bring more forces. Let's see. Next levels. Uh, yeah. Next. Uh, let's go towards the grenades first, since we already have those. Uh, yeah. Give you that back. Singing spear. Okay. Velderan or Elenway. Okay. And is it, uh, let's see, 50. Hmm. Okay, there is no range, so it is still a melee weapon, yeah? So let's give that to you, since you don't have, well, both of them don't have a weapon other than their basic one. But we'll just put Alen Wei on a, a range stand so she doesn't go running into combat again. Who else can use that gun, by the way? Only Kaleth, so <laughs> at the moment it, we could probably just <laughs> throw it out. Okay, continue working up that line with you. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Continue with that for you as well. We're just going really heavy on the <laughs> offense with both of these, huh? 
Yeah, but it has such good offense. Okay, Blood River optional mission. So here we go. Orcs have some understanding of value, if nothing else. If we slay them, we may find something among their spoils to aid us. And remember, use those shining bridges, because they bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be at the supply depot it will. Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. Okay, here we go with this one again. And now we can swap out. We can leave Ronan behind for some Ranger Pathfinders. Valderan for a Wraith Lord Champion. And Elenwe for a Seer Council. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll still mostly stick with them for the most, but for yeah, this for... one, shall we swap them out just to get a look? Yeah. Here's the thing, we may have discovered that they may get less XP if we don't bring them with us. Yeah, we may have seen that bit of that in the Imperial Guard campaign. Yeah, hmm. so... Yeah, we may end up needing all four as heroes on the, uh, through this campaign. But they all actually damn good. Okay, we'll see on some other mission where we can get a lot of uh, units. And yeah, we know the drill now. Slow or you break me, bitch, he says. You know, forget to drive on a shiny bridge for good luck. Listen up, kids. Warboss Smashface says there will be fine aid, and we need to get our key to the war. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war. Okay, we have our loot. back from striking the orc continent just yet. Let us continue and find a more appropriate ambush site. Oh dear. Yeah, this would not be a good spot to ambush from because they can just run past. If we had enough firepower to rain down on them, then it would be a good spot since it'd be really hard for them to fire upwards towards us. Yeah, we now have the shuriken cannon. Yep. Okay. Orcs turning their backs in a fight with the Eldar. <laughs> that may have been a first. <laughs> okay, she may be the healer, but that doesn't mean she, <laughs> she can't uh, defend herself or kick ass. Don't anger the nurse! <laughs> okay, so you probably not the nurse, but it would be the doctor. Yeah. Holy! Okay, just kick all, this through, all three of them away at once. Another victory. Okay. Ooh. Armor of the Syrian. Okay, I know decently how to say that one, but all the other ones that are just a, a whole lot of mixtures of A's and E's and O's and such, those are going to be practically impossible for me to, to try and say. Okay, you mean you would struggle with Irish? Probably. Uh, yes, a lot of words are of uh, Irish Celtic origins. The old talk and X arc are definitely not uh, Irish. They are some more of the. Uh, I think X arc is more towards Babylonian. Uh, give me that. Remember, I think X arc is a military governor. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kayla just throwing herself across half the battlefield to get into the fight. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's see. Can we? Yeah, we can. We give Valderan a shield. Okay. Yeah, I probably should try to do a lot more micromanaging with everyone to well make sure they survive long enough. I am on the move. Okay. I have taken possession. Getting a good amount of population. We'll still need to fill it later on, though. So many weak joints to choose from. Okay. On Hawk's wings. <laughs> Here, it actually, uh, that might not have been the best idea. <laughs> I was trying to think to lure it over, but let's see. I'll just need to jump back. Let's put up the shield, and that should be enough to lure it through, or not. Okay, can we lure it out with a grenade? Yeah, that, that pissed it off enough. Okay, the other one, the other grenade probably would have. Why are you, why are you running into melee, Ronan? Might as well get them off your ass. Okay, that that was Ronan just being dumb for a bit. Okay. Okay. I, I, what would you have of me? Okay. I I thought that was, um, I thought that that use got cancelled. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on. And probably heal up a bit. And apparently Ronan was too far away to get healed there. Okay, the, the AOE on that hill is decently small, it looks like. Okay. If that was more targeted, it would be a lot easier to be more selective with healing. Get into the back ranks. Also, I forgot. You ranged... One of you go capture. Okay. And yeah. We'll just move on to where the actual fun in this mission starts. Just the absolute slaughter that is going to be over here. <laughs> Can I... Okay, we can jump over here. Actually, Ronan, can you shoot that from here? No, you cannot. Okay. Okay, we'll just pop those and jump back. Destroy the shiny bridges you like. What? Oh, you spent a be lying to me, boy. You spent me dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. You're out of my way. You get the shield on you. And when I start fighting, you won't get your faces smashed. What? There wasn't supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them suitors, boys. Boss Smash Face says we need to keep this way clear for him. An orc that actually sounds a bit disappointed to be fighting. Okay. Yes. Probably because he knows that Smash Face is going to smash his face. 
Biff. He lets anything get damaged here. Yeah, orcs prefer to win. I shall make it ours. Okay. Let's get our resources. The point is ours. Shall I remain on guard? Okay, some over there. Actually, just chuck a grenade in there to deal with it. Okay, let's see. We'll need some of these. Actually, we will need plenty of those. Okay, you face that way. You'll be against the infantry. You face that way with the bright lands. Uh, another one you facing this way. Another one there. Next one is going to be more middle. There. It is time to add to our war panoply. Okay, and we still have plenty of room. Let's see. Let's bring in two guardian squads just we in case. Okay, we might as well put down some of these. We must save the okay. Guardians have come a few. We will and there. We the okay, Ronan. You go over there, Elanway. You're in a pretty decent spot already. What do you require? You hide over there, and well, <laughs> Miss Melee can go over here and intercept anything that gets in well through the middle. Who truly deserves to live? Okay. And that should be all the preparation we really need. Plenty of guns. We must save the lost one. Here we go, boys. This is where they say the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? For more, I agree. A fine position. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> okay. Did you see that bit there? He just. Die mid flight and bits landed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw some fly and you saw just bits raining. Okay, okay, it's not much, but I'm clipping that. <laughs> okay, now that's it. <laughs> now that's what concentrated firepower can really do. <laughs> Red, you, you lot can really fire fa farther than you can see. Okay. It's a good thing that these orcs are so bloody loud that we can see, well, quote-unquote, see them from far away, huh? Or hear them, at least. Let's get a grenade on there. Thank you. We may need some <laughs> banshees and guardians. Yeah, we have two guardian squads already. But they're mostly here for a backup. Right away. Hmm. Let's see, energy shields. It is probably what I'm thinking it is. Place as well. Yep, they just make their own cover. We trust in your guidance. Let's layer that a bit then. Oh, okay, we can turn it around like that, like we're placing it down the turret. Okay, that that makes them really good for holding a spot. We shall not Oh yeah. Uh oh. Yep. 
Ow. Until someone does that. Here comes a tank. And there goes a tank. That's not enough resource. Really? And again, Banshees wouldn't really be... You know, mm, Banshees would be more better for more mobile ambushes. Okay, those got destroyed really easily, it seems. Okay, you go deal with them, please. Put your shield up. Can you take a shot at that? Not from there, no. Okay, those shields do break really easy, though, it seems. Okay, so... Yeah, from heavy uh, fire, like the rockets. Yeah. Mm. Deal with those. Mm. Pull back. Yeah, let's get behind more solid cover, you lot. Okay. They literally just they cross into the rock. <laughs> well, when they can't steer anymore, that's basically what's happening. Uh, let's, let's just get another Guardian Squad. Group on over there, and there's Smash Face. Yep, and there <laughs> it was <laughs> Smash Face's face smashed. <laughs> Fire Dragon Shrine, okay. I detest dallying with orcs, but I have my target. Okay, just a weird boy. Just got sniped from who knows how far did. Just look at how much range Ronan has, huh? No, no, no that's that's Valderan. Where where are you? Oh, still very far. Boom. Oh, it's gonna take a whole day to find all our gear again. The Crosswell shall rejoice in our victory. I'm I think it's pretty easy for me to that my <laughs> the 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 spot for a favorite uh, race with the with 40k is a battle between the orcs and the Eldar. Let's see. First <laughs> gift of the ancients. Okay. Add to the toe, armor of Assyrian. Versatile armor similar to the armor worn of the uh, worn by the dire adventurous aspect warriors, which complements their tactical flexibility in battle, providing excellent protection without sacrificing speed and freedom of movement. And increase vehicle. Okay, fire dragons are the anti vehicle ones. Okay. <clears throat> probably, won't, yeah, probably won't be too useful, though, unless we find some weapons that are specifically we melee and good against weapons. Okay. Spirit Stone of Yonden. 25, 25 damage resistance on everything. Okay. A precious crystal that grants a psychic link to fallen ancestors. And Wraith Lord. Powerful walker units. Upgrades allow for additional range damage or anti armor weaponry. I'm leaning towards getting this one because we only have the, uh, the weapons, uh, the heavy weapons teams for uh, anti vehicle at the moment. I'm in agreement with you. And vehicles tend to be a bigger problem to deal with than infantry. Yeah, and 
Yeah, I think we can get no. uh, to do one more for a little overtime if we can uh, afford. Yeah. El Elenwin. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Keep going down that way and we'll see what we get, what, the, what we go for after that. Let's see. A fusion gun for Kaelith, a staff for Elenwe, Veldoran gets a singing spear, and a long rifle for Rona. Uh, Ronan. You are actually doing pretty well as is. You already have a toy. Trade it in for the, the staff then? Yeah, let's get, get her a staff. Here we go. Rune circled staff. Da -da -da -da. It looks like she'll still go into melee with that, possibly, but hopefully she is set on ranged by default now. The technology used in the staves wielded by certain Elder Seers is similar in principle to that of a Witchblade, however their function is different. Rather than focusing the bearer's considerable psychic might to empower the weapon itself, it instead amplifies and focuses the power to be discharged as lethal bolts of raw energy from the uh, wielder's, fil the wielder's fingertips. Okay, so it is mostly going to be hopefully disarranged. And let's see. We can give you this armor, which is better, yes. Then who do we give this to? Movement speeds. Let's give that to you. So you'll have a slightly easier chance, a yeah, slightly easier time catching up. And yeah, Aurelia it is then next. Hmm. Divide something critical of these chaos savages. Their loyalty, she says, lies with Kairos. We should attack them now, lest their designs on Aurelia strengthen Kairos in the future. Okay, we'll get to pick between some armor and the Exarch for the Banshees. You would think that <laughs> they would get their sergeant on their first upgrade, but no, it looks like it's getting they are getting that on their last one. I grab that one. Mm. And then we know we, the benches are solid. Yeah, even though their one showing so far has gotten seen them utterly massacred, but they were running into, a, well, <laughs> emplaced defenses. Interlopers, come to witness the glory of the Dark Portal. Draw near then. Watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel. We shall savor your despair. I think at best they'll get annoyance out of the Eldar. And yeah, she's set the range now. Yeah, she's shooting! She's shooting! <laughs> okay. Deal with those. She's firing lightning for her fingertips. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. <laughs> I avoided. I avoid, okay, I may, I may not do that joke this time. I've done that joke so many times. And you do it instead. <laughs> okay, we'll have to deal with noise marines. Are you sure that? We have this bug again. What bug? It's raining, still snowing. I'm not so sure if it's really a bug. Could it be because the place is getting messed up by warp... Uh, uh, by warp energies and such? Now, let's see if we can uh, deal yes. with these idiots. Nope. <laughs> not before they can pull that off. Okay. Ronan, disrupt those. 
You burn those out. You and you lot need to pull back a bit to heal. Okay, just keep moving. Yeah, they are strong, but they are also frail. Okay, I was trying to think for a moment if the, the Elder really have a jump unit, but those would be the Warp Spiders, but those, those tend to teleport from a rather... deal with them. A rather shorter distance. Yeah, and oh, the will, barrier was blocking them. You will grab the Warp Spider sooner or later. Yeah. So far though, she's doing a very good job at it. Yeah, Kalis, along with a group of war spiders, would probably be quite a thing. The old units that, that are like her, I think I'll call the Swooping Hawks? Maybe. Getting shot at from over there. Hmm. I, I hope they are in this game, though, then it would mean they would have two units, uh, jump units, basically. Let's see, let's get two of these. One for anti-vehicle, one for anti-anti-inventory. <clears throat> okay. There, upgrade you. And yeah, just start spitting out guardians again. Okay. And moving on. And not that way. Not that way. Okay. I think she's on uh, uh, a plague marine or something. <laughs> and then again, I'm pretty sure to the Elder, basically all human and humanoid life is considered ugly and disgusting. Okay, if you're that intent on going that way, at least burn them out there. Screw it. He's intent on going that way. Yeah, really? You're fucking pot shots at that? Get them out of there. Okay, now you decide to come this way, huh? Okay. There. Actually, since, since this stacks on uh, damage over time, it is really good against. Uh, <laughs> it seems the terrain has been misread. Magnificent, is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer, approach the portal, gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy, rather than our blades. <laughs> yes, since uh, units that are in bunkers and such can't move, they will get those stacking damage over time ticks on them more and more. Okay, turn this one off. And this one on. Okay. Taylor very eagerly throwing herself at a box. <laughs> okay, we'll look, we'll go a little bit over time. <clears throat> oh yeah, after this mission though, we are calling it. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Again snuck in behind us somewhere. Turn <laughs> a cultist into a red mist again. Red again. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. 
Okay. The Builder Run is basically the uh, the Jonas of uh, the Eldar, since well, he is mostly all about the spells and such. Ooh. Grab those. <laughs> no, they say Elder instead of Eldar. Maybe I've been missaying it here and there, but uh, well. Yeah, no, I will not blame you for that one, since many do that accidentally. It's pretty easy. Mm, yeah. But also hmm. why? Yeah, I, see way, I guess sneak in this. saying Eldari is in a way easier for your. It's something you probably not gonna be misheard too easily. Can they? I can't. Can you take pot shots at those guys? I don't think so, but it'll be nice to try. Hmm. A level for Veldron. Yep. That way, numbskulls. Uh, are you not forgetting something? Hmm? Or have you... Oh yeah, we have everything it over. The requisition thingy. Yep. Okay, burn them out. That's the timer. Okay, that was more Elder joining in here. <laughs> really? St stealth noise marines? It's a good thing. That, it's a good thing that Caleb is immune to knockback at the moment. Okay, moving on. Okay. Hmm. Now that I think about it a bit, and maybe I've said this during one of the Sonic Hero streams, but in a way, this game and Sonic Heroes are a bit similar in that the storylines are basically well. <laughs> different factions going on a road trip and having to deal with shit along the way. I think it, it did a minor mention to that. I think it was you or me who did it that last time we play, played Sonic, we mentioned that. Yeah, and funnily enough, it's this game which is generally more entertaining to play through because it has more varied dialogue. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll save most of the, you know, the Sonic Heroes talk for when we get back to that next week. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, I have looked around a bit more and it is very much a bit of a contested uh, game. As in that's... Some people really do not like it. And, well, we've talked about a good few issues of it already, but let's mostly focus on this game. <laughs> Until we run out of topics to talk or things to comment on. Okay, burn yeah. those out, please. Oh. Okay. Uh, where is... Where's our other graph team? Yeah. <laughs> Just the sheer amount of impacts on that thing. Mm. Okay, where the heck are you going? Change target. Yeah, this is going a lot better now, huh? Yeah. Ronan, <laughs> intercept. Okay, we are still losing a lot of troops. But it's it's less of a massacre this time. You see that mm. just as the, you walked away from a AOE attack. Mm. 
move aside a bit. Um, Focus them down. Okay. Yeah, he got <coughs> he got picked aside. Okay. Caleb can keep. Up. Yeah, you actually go grab them. These idiots can come join the firing line here. You pull back. Jump across. Oh, nice! It blows up the boxes for us. You ain't also. Got you? No, not you. One of the Guardian squads. Go capture that, please. Okay, that deal is more than I thought. Okay, then we have the side objective of dealing with those for some extra experience and loot. And well, we are very short on loot in this playthrough. So far, yeah. Let's put out some Wraith Lords. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This way for the first shrine. Actually, you go see if you can knock down that one by yourself. In the meantime, uh, more guardians. They are our most basic infantry, but they are also very effective well, for their cost and such. And also just the amount of abilities they have. Okay. Ow. Okay, first he was getting lifted into the air and then he just got nuked by a concussive round. Okay, you oh. are not going to survive, but neither is that one. Okay, there's an and there's a last cannon turret. Okay, head on over here. It's enough guardians. Let's see, not enough for another. Actually, there's yeah, no reason to go annoying them over here, but I will. I have a feeling the Howling Banshees can deal with the cultists really well. Yeah. We need more resource. Oh. Just burn the place out, will you? Okay. No. Let's rush over there. And yeah, don't try and get to the exit as as quick as possible, because we're already like eight minutes over time. Hmm. Use your grenades, please. If, no, that's your shield. This one is your grenades. <laughs> that was my bad. A bit strange that they call them chaotic units and not chaos units. And then again, chaos is a bit of a it, it is a bit of a taboo to name the chaos uh, gods and such, like the great enemy, and not calling them Solnesh. Yeah. Okay. Commendation of the Spirit Seer. 
Okay. Well, that get us. And of course, bonus I, experience. Yeah, either experience or items. Hmm. Uh, the, actually, the commendations are. The commendations have always been a free upgrade on something. I'm just curious on, on who exactly that'll be then. Spirit Seer. That would sound like the, the, the Seer Counselor or such, but we don't have that equipped. Oh, Maybe yeah. a free Banshee upgrade? The seer. They are a special type of Seer. They are specializing in uh, Wraith Gods. Actually, it might be a Wraith Guard upgrade then, yeah. Yeah, for Spiritio, basically... Necromancers. Just, they don't summon zombies here, they just... Make sure they put in the soul into a Wraith Guard. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep pushing forwards. And yeah, getting introduced to the demons again, or the demon rider again. Not that it's that impressive or anything. Especially when, well, these grenades should work on it. Seems your machine yeah. gun does enough. <laughs> Okay, just need to push through. Uh, one of you lot, go grab that. Yep, never mind with the grenade, just go capture that. <laughs> Caleb took very much care of that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now we just need to display some idiots between here and there. Okay. And get more units moving here. Okay. Yeah, simple enough. It, this is literally just a diversion from their road trip. One thing I would definitely want to have explained more off, more clearly if they ever do a Dawn of War 4 is just better explanations on these abilities other than just does a big slash. Like for this one here, the struck, you no, know, the ethereal slash that actually just explained that it deals damage in an AoE circle and then across afterwards. Okay, Ronan, use your anti-tank weapon there. Or just heal it by a thousand needles. Though likely it would be more like a billion with how fast those things fire. Good, on to the next. Billions of uh, shurikens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the craft world shall rejoice in our victory. Singularity. Fire a controlled singularity that pulls in and damages nearby units. Okay, <laughs> that's going to be a fun one to watch. Uh, let's see. Spirit Seer's armor, Wraith Bone blast, uh, Breastplate. Uh, seen that before. Commendation of the Spirit Seer. Wraith Guard upgrade. Okay. So, yeah. Had that one correct, but for now, we'll have to go look for someone to raid. Uh, armor of Yuan. Uh, the, the Autarch Yuan of Biotan was a legendary military teacher that traveled the craft world to provide training to, her, to their native guardian forces as the need arose. Thousands of Eldar guardians take great pride in knowing that their first exposure to battle in this grim era was guided by his steady tutelage. And the Exarch. We're just grabbing them. We have detected an interplanetary communication of interest from a force of renegades loyal to Kairos on Meridian, seeking his orders. Hmm. That is most unfortunate. Unfortunate? Suddenly less keen to lay waste to the vile forces of Kairos, so on and so forth. I was never keen to lay waste to his rabble to begin with. Our vocation is to slay Kairos, not his armies. 
This transmission proves only that he is not on Meridian, which is where our exploratory options end. It is simple then. We assault this force and question them. We persist until we learn what we need. Amateur recklessness. It would be puerile idiocy to attack them. Are you but a child? <laughs> you must propose combat strategy to an Altok more often, Velderan. Caliph, if the trail has gone cold, surely it is our only choice. Meridian is the rotting burrow they swarm from, outnumbering our war hosts thousands of times over. The chance that Kairos would trust any rabble with his whereabouts is slim. The chance that such fanatics would divulge that info, slimmer. So even our accomplished mistress of strategy would be unable to secure a victory. I would not expect an outcast to understand. One initial victory I could plan with ease, but a protracted assault is simple suicide. I would not expect a warrior to understand, but one victory is all you will need. Okay, she is extremely hesitant to head to Meridian because, well, it's a hive world, so... <laughs> And Eldar, well, if they get caught, <laughs> they're going to get swarmed. And yet, yeah, they can't really, they don't really have the number for, well, protect, yeah, prolonged attacks. So it, it, is, it makes sense that she is unwilling to go there, but it is basically the only way to go at the moment. Also, Ronan with the snark <laughs> and the sarcasm. Yeah. Bloody heck. <laughs> But yeah, for now, we're already over time, so let's head over here. And let me free the mouse. And let's see for someone to raid. So uh, I'll just pick house. someone since we're already, well, over time, as I said. Uh, let's see. Kevin and I, Paul World. Lashris is playing Final Fantasy 4. Azra is playing Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, Diablo 4. And Zeria Fox is also playing uh, Pal World. We haven't seen Zeri in a long ass time. We haven't raided Azra that long as we haven't seen Azra that often as well either. But uh, let's go raid Zeri. It's been longer with them. So sure. copy the name. From what I have seen, Pal World is competent enough. It is still glitchy, but it is still well early in its launch. It only came out yesterday. But I might be interested in if I learn a bit more about it. It's, in some ways, it is similar to Ark, uh, but not yeah, as it, similar, of course. It reminds hmm. me of a, the Pokemon mod for Ark. There was once a thing, but got removed. <laughs> or the yeah, got involved. Yeah, because they wouldn't want people butchering Pokemon, even though technically yeah. in universe that does happen. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, for now though, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, do we have any lurkers around? Uh, no lurkers that are still around at the least. So yeah, thank you. <clears throat> thank you as always, Drakir. Welcome as always, my friend. Thank you all for watching here or on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, Showcase Sunday. <clears throat> and in the evening, we'll see what we do then. I'm thinking, well, we've done most of our side quests at the moment, so I'm thinking maybe Shipbreaker, or we, uh, mm, we, we've we already done Cleo this week. Mm. Uh, so shipbreaker. Mm. Actually, yeah, Shipbreaker. I was to say Shipbreaker and Cleo, then remember that it's, it's Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Let's get that raid started then. We can at least say hello to Zeri. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, ticked off Eldar. <laughs>